third Roller Derby World Cup. We are and indeed. we're excited. We've got Finland against Team Germany. Finland in the blue. We've got Germany in the white. Exactly, and the first uh, jam of the game is going to number 156 of Team Finland. That's Mia as lead jammer out of the pack. And oh. it looks like we had a star pass there to Trash Tourette on the Team Germany side. Trash Tourette now is new jammer and a call off from Mia for the first four points in the game going to Team Finland. Yeah, Mia was some pretty nifty footwork in turn number two. Able to pick up those points, go ahead, call it off, save the jam. That jam only runs about 30 seconds. And so we're looking at a 4-0 lead, Team Finland. Uh, next, uh, Jammers up on the line, number 24, Kuyala, for Team Finland, and a 25 Mia missile for Team Germany. And uh, you can see they're going to crawl back to the Jammer line. Mia missile going to look for some room on the inside. She's going to cut out. Everybody's stuck in the pack until right then and there. Koyala again in turn one out of the pack as the lead jammer. Mia Missile still fighting her way through, but no, she is sent off track for a back block penalty. Yeah, power jam going to Team Finland early on in the game already. Tough situation for Germany as they are already in a scenario where they have to protect the power jam. Five points already scored by Koyala. Uh, both teams with a full lineup of blockers on the track. Team Finland goating a blocker of Team Germany. Trying to keep the pack. Mia Missile already standing in the penalty box. Should return to track in a brief moment. Five more points going to Kuyala and Mia Missile released from the penalty box. Will still have to finish her initial pass. Yeah, and that and that goading that goading of the other player is such an effective such an effective move to take pack control. And we're going to see number 25 out there right now. Mia yeah, Missile finished off the initial yep. pass, was uh, wheezing around the track. Uh, three more points here scored by Kuyala. That makes a 13 on zero jam in favor of Team Finland, making for a 17 on zero lead now only after two and a half minutes of gameplay. And uh, it's up to Knock and Rose now from Hamburg Harbor Girls. Uh, she's facing up against Sarah Gilbert. Let's see how the next jam will turn out. And once again, we want to thank you for joining us. We are here at the roll line track as the jam gets started. And that's going to be a lead jam for Team Finland. That's Sarah Gilbert. Yeah, three in a row going to Team Finland here. Not in a row, still stuck in her initial on a solid try formation there in the bag of Team Finland. Yeah, that three wall, really tough. And as, as we know, team, uh, team Finland always one of the better defenses in the tournament. Demona taking a seat. Nope, that's uh, Effie Beast, I think, for Team Germany in the penalty box. Yeah, we just saw B.A. Barakas trying to hold back Sarah Gilbert, not able to do so. And Gilbert's going to come around working on another scoring run. Star pass in the meantime to number 76, Trash to Red, and again a timely call off from Team Finland. Here in the end of the jam, there is a direction of gameplay penalty being issued, which is going to number 18 of Finland, Elina Ruakaranta. And uh, let's briefly go through the rosters, Bob, for Team Finland. We have with a number 103, Erika Luoto, 156 is Mia, 18, Elina Ruakaranta, now starting from the family box, 24 is Kuyala, 257, Lyra, 28, Nina Erves, 39, Mayurine, 410, Maura Maninen, 4444 4, 4, 4 is Kata Salaspuro, number 49, Ida Sointu, 56 is Ayam Kastren, 777 Sara Gilbert, 85 Latikainen, 90 Salakaya Linen, and 999 Pate Pop. And right now, as you've seen, we've got the first lead going to Team Germany, courtesy of Jane von Payne here. Four points scored by Team Germany in the wide. Jane going in for another scoring run. First points on the board. Oh, and Payne will get through a second time. It's going to be four more points on the board. Already an 8-0 run. Team
Team Germany needing this right now. And Team Germany finding their pace in a very, very nice defense here. Still shutting down the Finland Jammer with a star stash out of the initial pass is Pate Pop number 999. And of course, we are playing 30 minute games here today. This is part of the seeding process. Today and tomorrow will be all part of the seeding process, after which they will take the top 16 teams, bracket those, and of course we'll have many, many follow-up consolation games. So every victory in this next two days is gonna make a big difference. Score right now, 33 to 12 in favor of Team Germany. All of Team Germany's points coming in that final jam. Next up on the line is going to be Mia and Mia, actually. Mia for uh, Finland and Mia Missile for Team Germany. Mia Missile taken out on the outside line. One foot out of bounds will have to recycle. And Mia of Team Finland in the meantime out of the initial pass as our lead jammer. Oh, nice lateral footwork. And she's going to be able to take it back to the outside and complete that scoring run. That's going to be a full five. Five point scoring pass. Mia coming on to another scoring run while Mia Missile is again being recycled. Still in her initial pass there. Mia stuck on the outside line on 101. That's Oz Blocker and Trash to Red. And Mia Missile has to recycle again. Five and zero score already within this jam and we're one minute into the jam and there Mia Missal finishes the initial pass. In the meantime, Mia faced towards the bench, talking to the bench coach as she's waiting for Mia Missile to come around. They tell her to call off the jam, she does. She goes on an eight to zero run, bringing the score up to 41-12. As we said before, this is only a 30 minute game. All games today will be 30 minutes and the teams will have a timeout and an official review. Both teams now starting with one blocker in the penalty box. It's going to be B.A. Barakas for Team Germany, who will have to sit out for a couple of seconds. And it's Brighton Gale on the line now for Team Germany with a number 312 in the white jersey. 24 Kuyala starting for Team Finland. Brighton Gale taken out to the infield. Oh, Brighton Gale just wiped out by Nina Iras. And Frightengale squeezes through in turn one and is going for a lead. That's only the second lead for Team Germany within this game yet. Eight minutes about played. And a nice job there in the front. But two defense holding Kuyala back, but Kuyala now out of the initial pass as well. Frightengale already in scoring run is taken out over the outside line. Recycles. Kuyala is coming up, is already in a scoring pass. Frightengale is letting the clock run. Trying to trust her blockers. Both teams now in full defense mode. Frightengale trying to make her way past the last defense in front of the pack. There's a cut track on a blocker. That's number 28, Nina Erves of Team Finland. A four on four jam up to now, and the clock ticks on. Oh, look at that. What a fantastic move to pull some points at the end by Freidgale. Iras, even though she just went and had to sit down, was totally harassing Freidgale that entire, that entire jam. Beautiful skibbity, skibbity hop there on the inside line to gather four more. So this jam ends in favor of Team Germany. And again, we're going to kick off the next jam with one blocker per team in the penalty box. And it's up to Jane von Payne and Sarah Gilbert. Nina Erves and B.A. Barracco starting from the box. Pack has moved to turn one. Both jammers still in their initial pass. And there we have it, it's Jane Van Page. She's gonna find a little room on the inside of turn two. And she's already looking at a scoring run. In the meantime, Sarah Gilbert still stuck in the pack, being recycled. Jane Van Payne trying to draw this a little closer as we've got a 25 point deficit for Team Germany. Two out of the three lead statuses for Team Germany are work courtesy of Jane Van Payne. She has now a, up to now, full 100% lead. 
uh, with two blockers in the penalty box for Team Germany. That's Trash to Red as the pivot and Oz blocker. Uh, yeah, we, ju and we just saw Rene get called off and she sits down in the penalty box. And with that, let's, let's say thank you to some of the people that have sponsored us. First off, we want to thank Rollline, our track sponsor for this particular event. Rollline is the tailored gear to fit your needs. Next up on the Jammer line, we have FEBs for Team Germany in the white jersey and number 999, Pate Pop for Team Finland. And FEB slowly making away and is out of the park as Lee Jammer, whose pivot trash to red is already standing in the penalty box. So is Osblocker. Let's see what F is going to do with that time if she tries to release all the blockers from the box. Pate Pop coming up to score now as well. Both jammers are in a scoring run. And looks like Effie got drawn back a little here. Can finish for four as well. But Finland about to start the second scoring pass too. Pate Pop briefly hindered there by Treasurette. Effie coming in again, viciously calling off the jam, standing on one foot on the outside line. That's a four more pass for Effie Beast. That's an eight on eight jam. And we just had three lead jams in a row for Team Germany. So something happened there at the bench. They flipped the switch. Let's see if that continues. We're still at a 20 point differential in favor of Team Finland with 18 minutes left to play in I was just about to say the first period, but in this game, we're only playing 30 minutes. Quick reminder for myself. Mia for Finland. And Knock and Rose for Team Germany. Mia out as lead jammer. Knock and Rose pushing the pack into turn two. And Mia going to come up on the pack. Rock, Rock and Rose still stuck behind that brutal three wall, being squeezed. Oh! My goodness, backwards run on her toe stops, and Mia is through for a full five. Another star pass here on Team Germany's side to Trash to Red, number 76. And uh, Mia looking to score some more calls off the jam for another three. We certainly see a lot of backwards skating. I can't say I've seen somebody turn around and actually run backward on their toe stops. Well, only in the warm-up. Only in warm-ups? Yes. Oh, okay. Not in the game yet. I should do that more often. Run backwards and toe stops? Wouldn't that warm me up? Oh, well, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we want to say thank you to S1 Helmets, the official helmet of the 2018 Roller Derby World Cup here on the Roll Line track. We only just tuned in. Team Germany skating in the white. Team Finland skating in the blue. Jane Van Payne, number 030 on the line for Team Germany. And with the number 24, Kuyala taking the lead for Finland. And Jane Van Payne quickly reacting and is looking to pass the helmet cover to her pivot. But Eva Laurie is now as the pivot skating at the back of the pack and playing defense. But Kuyala slips through the pack for and out of five for Team Finland. We are now at a 33 point differential. I tell you, Eva Loria is doing a really nice job out there. She's, she's been recycling herself from the front to the back of the pack. And there comes the call off. And there we Kuyala. get the call off. For one more. So we've got a score of 67 to 33 as we are winding down pretty close to the halfway mark through our 30 minute rankings game. Going to the next jam with Sada Gilbert and Frightengale. Empty penalty box. No points scored for the past few jams by Team Germany. Let's see how this one turns out, but lead going to Finland again. Up to Sarah Gilbert. Sarah Gilbert, who's been doing her lion's share of the work for the Finns, putting up a lot of points. And her lead jammer percentage has got to be pretty close to perfect. 
Frydengale still stuck in the initial pass, pushing the pack, the opposing ball slowly to the front, Sarah Gilbert whipping herself out of the pack. Another five scored here for Finland, Trasha Red for Team Germany as a pivot, heading off to the penalty box. I tell you, Suentu out there doing such a nice job of uh, directing the defense for the Finns. And a Finnish defense oh. back of the pack, really giving a hard time to frighten Gale. Just as I say that, Soento almost spills Team Germany into the outside, outside refs lane, and we're going to get we're going to get one penalty as we've got one of Team Germany that just sat down. Especially Elina Rokaranta and Majurina are playing a fantastic defense there in the back. Lati Kainen as support and Frightengale is getting nowhere in the meantime. Yeah, Frightengale has been down blockers for most of the jam, just finding it very difficult to try and get through this. On the other hand, that, she's going to call that one off. Sarah Gilbert having a pretty easy time of it as she makes three full passes uh, against even against a jammer. She's going to pull 15. That's a 15-0 run for Team Finland. Got a score at 82 82 to 33. And it was the highest scoring jam of the game up to now. We've played uh, a little more than 15 minutes, 13 and a half left within this game. And we're going into the next jam with Patti Pop and Effie Beast. Blockers not all on track. One blocker is just being released from the penalty box. It's public enemy. And again, another lead call here going to Patti Pop of Finland. Salakaya Line is signaling and cut track penalty, but if the refs don't call it, it's not a penalty. So FEB is out of the pack now. Coming up to score, call off just in time yep. from the outside line here from Pate Pop. No score for FE4 going to Finland. Another 4 on 0 jam. 86 to 33 with a little less than 13 minutes left to play. And of course, we want to say thank you to Blood and Thunder. Blood and Thunder, whose belief is life's better on roller skates. And it is. Visit them at bloodandthundermag.com for roller, roller derby inspired apparel. So we're going uh, into the next one with Mia Missile for Team Germany and again Mia for Finland. And this is the first lead jam for Germany in quite some time with about two thirds of leads that we're going to Team Finland up to now and let's see if Mia can capitalize on that. Well, Mia Missile in this case, of course. Yeah, of course, the, the Team Finland speeding up the defense a little bit to try to prevent the score. They're gonna keep going. Rip and Trash to Red playing nice defense there in the back, supported by Public oh Enemy. Oh my! And really, really, that's the judoka move here that we've seen from Mia Missile as the playoffs over the past two years. So there is a five-point pass. and I tell you, <laughs> Mia Missile, there's a little Walenda in that girl as she tiptoes the outside of the track in turn three on that last spectacular pass. Piece of debris out on the track. Looks like a knee pad came apart. So Mia Missile did give away some points, but the jam total still goes to Team Germany with a 10 on 6 jam in favor of Team Germany. 92 for Team Finland now in total, 43 for Team Germany. We have 11 minutes left to play. And uh, this jam just screwed up Finnish Mia's 100% lead. And this is going to be a team timeout that is going to be charged to Team Germany. That's the one and only team timeout that they will receive during this 30 minute, uh, this 30 minute game. Uh, with, with that, let's take a moment to thank Rydell. Rydell, the Roller Derby World Cup is brought to you in part by the new Rydell Solaris. Solaris, the performance you demand, the comfort you've been missing. And while we're at it, we can also give a shout out to the Roller Derby Show Club. I was just going to bring that up because I was going to ask you, Valkyria, how many derby shirts do you think you have? Well, my last count was about two and a half years ago. 
Oh, and that was about 45 shirts, not including training gear and scrimmage shirts. Wow. Yeah. Well, I probably, I, I've got, I wear them until the, the ink cracks a little bit, and then I save them. I've probably got about 250 of them. Yeah, but you've been and around I a little never, longer than but, I but I, I still love to have them all the time, and you can too. Roller Derby Shirt Club, get a different shirt from a different roller derby league from around the world every month. Join the Roller Derby Shirt Club at RollerDerbyShirtClub.com. Uh, we are trying to get back into the action with number 24, Kuyala for Finland, taking the lead, and Jane Van Payne on a solid four wall. Still not gotten past the pivot line, but no! Look how that turned out. Kuyala taking place in the penalty box for a forearms call. So I think lead is still open, and lead is going to Jane Van Payne for this jam and it's the first power dam for team germany within this game with one blocker per team seated in the penalty box number 42 lizzie slaughter or as we know her this weekend Zehase. well i think they got a little bit lucky there they need jane van Payne to put as many points on the board as they can get out of this power jam but they're not going to offensively block for her instead they will opt to spend the 30 seconds setting up on defense which uh, is, is going to hurt Jane Van Payne's opportunity to, to put up another pass. And so she's got five in, but she's held up by the defense. Okay. And in the meantime, now you've got Finland on the offensive rush. Now, Kuyala did have to finish the initial pass after getting out of the penalty box, but that was way too easy for her, zapping along the inside line. So it was not a, uh, Jane was not able to capitalize on this power jam with only eight on zero score. So Team Germany now at 51, Team Finland still in the lead with 41 points, 92 on 51, 8 minutes left to play in this game. And of course, with these games only being 30 minutes long, every power jam is a huge, huge opportunity, even more so than in a full-length game. You've got to do what you can to get your jammer through as we get started again right now. You see Frighten Gale out there for Germany, but lead jam's already been determined. And that is no stranger to that position. That is Sarah Gilbert already looking to run on her scoring pass. Frightengale's is stuck in a triangle there in the front. Sarah Gilbert getting one offense support and a forearms call to Sarah Gilbert. So no more lead jammer Frightengale on a power jam now. And Frightengale trying to find a gap on the outside line in turn three. Yeah, and again, you've got three of the German blockers originally hanging back, waiting for nobody. They need to run some interference and get her through. Jane Van Payne just up there trying to fight against a finished three wall that is quite honestly one of the going to be probably one of the better in the tournament. So Bierberak is being the first one to actually make, trying to make use of the power jam and goating an opposing blocker. And Frightengale taken out again in front of the pack there in turn two. Oh, nice spin move and an easy four points. So we're at a four on zero score now within this jam and Frightengale was on a power jam. Yeah, uh, Frightengale, who had been recycled, was kind of waiting for the right moment to step in, but the time is not on their side right now with 6.15 remaining. Again, this is only a 30-minute game. If you're just tuning in, we've got Team Finland out there in the blue against Team Germany in the white. Today and tomorrow will be games that will help determine the seeding for the final 16 that will be played this weekend. That was such a beautiful penalty kill here for Team Finland. Although Sarah Gilbert was in the penalty box, Team Finland managed to score 12 on zero within this jam. And uh, we're going into the last five and a half <laughs> minutes. That's uh, Pate uh, Pop, pop, on pop the line. out there dancing to the uh, to the drum that's being beat by the fans out in the crowd. 
But they pop in the front in a three wall and FEB is trying to push the blue wall of Finland. Has turn one, gets some help from Rip. And FEB is slowly pushing the defense to the front. Yeah, tiptoeing along the inside and lead was given to FEBs, but FEBs gets thrown back again. But so does Pate Pop, gets taken to the infield, gets taken over the outside line by Trash to Red. No, by Villorius, Pate Pop out of the park. But still, FEBs is lead jammer. Does call off the jam, not waste any points. A little nudge there from Salah Kajalainen just before the whistles blew. And that's going to bring us to 140, 140, sorry. I'm dyslexic this morning. 104 to 51 in favor of Team Finland. We are down to 421 remaining. So. Guess who we have on the agenda line? Our favorite pairing. So it's Mia and Mia Misal. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, all of the blockers on track, empty penalty box, and Mia Missile leads oh! along the outside, but Mia is right next to her, and that is the first jam in this game where we get a little... Both jammers jammer going action. at each other. And Mia Missile then going to call it off. Mia Missile... And of course, this, uh, Mia Missile calls it off. They'll be able to probably, they, may, they might be able to pull two jams out of this yet, which is going to be important because even if Team Germany doesn't win, we know that the point differential figures into the algorithm somehow. Exactly. So it, it, when they're seated, so they want to make sure that they can keep this game as close as possible. Koyala up against Jane von Payne, and Jane von Payne viciously making her way to the front. The German wall in the back there is a lot calmer at the moment. Got Flamara and Zehas uh, led by Eva Lorius. I tell you, Koyala uh, also doing a tremendous job for Team Finland as she she basically conducts that defense up front. Zehaza for Team Germany off to the box for a multiplayer block. But once we're a little confused about that, Zehaza is Lizzie Slaughter, of course, from the Berlin bombshells. And no pack call, so the Finnish wall has to drop a skater to bridge the pack. Jane Van Payne still pushing up front, up against the Luda. Oh, look at that. Here is with a nice bridge. And she's the. the oh! <laughs> The two wall finally breaks at that the last a, moment. One it, minute before we had a lead jammer out of this one and a star pass on Finland side to Lura 257. Jane Van Payne hits the pack, calls of the jam and could take two out of this jam. Germany able to pull two points out of that. We are now at 104 to 53. We are down to a minute 54 oh. in this First game of the morning on the roll line track. It's uh, up to FEB, Sansara Gilbert now. What might be the last jam of the game? And we'll take a minute to recognize the Girls on Track Foundation. Uh, we'll do that after we finish this jam. I hear a penalty whistle. Yeah, and it's a 101. Ostblocker going to the penalty box for Team Germany, and another lead call going to Sarah Gilbert. A blocker for Team Finland off to the box as well. It's uh, Elina Rua Caranta. And that is Effie Beast off to the penalty box. So a power jam now to Sarah Gilbert. Gilbert making that one look very easy. The blockers have Team Germany pinned to the inside of the track. And you can see right here, they're going to positionally, oh, she runs a nice, looks like she was going to set a nice pick there. It fell apart. Gilbert stuck right now behind the two wall up front for Germany. 
Yeah, Lina Rokaranta, uh, uh, Mayurine, this is, I'm sorry, for the pin, uh, pivot in this jam for Finland, playing beautiful offense in the last passes here. FEB is by now back to the track, and the period clock is ticking down. We are at, uh, well, just a couple of seconds left. Um, Sarah Gilbert through for another pass, and FEB is taken out again by Mayurine. And at this point, we are completely on the jam clock with 16 seconds remaining. As we see five more points pulled. And with the last seconds ticking on the jam clock, we have Ostblocker fouling out of the game with four penalties. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this first game. Well, uh, the unofficial score, which if it changes, won't change, shouldn't change much, is so 131 to 53 in favor of Team Finland. Until we have the confirmation on the score, I could tell you that Sarah Gilbert had a 50% lead in this game, and out of the 131 points for Team Finland, she scored 65. That's so a pretty good day half, at the office. Half of the <laughs> wow. points for Team Finland go to Sarah Gilbert. So we're but looking at 131 to 53. That was 27.10 jam. Yeah, Ouch. but but I think when you take a look at the bigger picture of things here, Team Germany looks like they're headed for a better World Cup than what we saw the last time in 2014. We know that Finland is tough. They're always about a top five, six team. And uh, for Team Germany to come out, okay, they're gonna, they're gonna give way I do my announcer math, but we'll say by about 70 points. Uh, but maybe not really a bad, bad showing for Team Germany, and they can uh, certainly pick up the steam from here on in. And from Ma Manchester here at Event City, you have just seen Team Finland defeat Team Germany 131 to 53. I am Bob Noxious. This has been Valkyria. And, and we would like to thank you for tuning Slim in. Feeding us some information. Thank yes. you, Lightning Slim. Lightning Slim for producing, and we'll see you the next time around.